be greeted in the name of Jesus Christ is your lovely prophet, Prophet Letebo. Um, happy Women's Day. Um, I have a message and a short message for you. Um, I want us to talk about the, the story of no, um, Naomi, the woman who was courageous after losing everything. As we are celebrating this Women's Day, my prayer is for you to find yourself in God's purpose. Because one of the most important things is to find yourself in the purpose of God. The reason why we are existing and the reason why we are alive because you need to understand something is that as much as you are alive, you also have to understand that there is existence and existence should be found in God. Now, there is, there is a point in the life of Naomi that I loved so much that I believe would, you know, it will inspire a lot of women who would then find themselves more especially their purpose in God. Now, Naomi, after losing everything and after the, uh, I mean, the husband has died, after she lost the two sons, the Bible says she was more courageous to move to a new place. Now, one of the most important thing and one of the most vital thing that women in our generation don't understand is that after you lose something, you need to continue with your life. If you lose a husband, as much as you are a woman, you need to understand that women are intercessors. They are there, created to pray for the church. Now, why am I saying women are intercessors? Is because as much as we have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, God is so specific. One of the reasons why the Holy Spirit was outpoured is for us to learn to pray through the Holy Spirit. So now, if you are a woman, you must understand that God has found you to be an intercessor. And as much as you are a woman, you need to find yourself in the house of the Lord. Let's look at the life of, uh, I mean, Hannah. Hannah did not have a child. The Bible says she was more courageous to go into the house of the Lord to go and pray. Now, as much as you are a woman, you need to understand that, um, you know, there's, there's a hymn in, in bed that says, Women are found in prayer. As much as you are a woman, you should not find yourself where you know when 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 tough seasons tough si uh, situations when they come you 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 mislead yourself and you take yourself um, into a place where the devil will be given a platform for you to lose yourself no women are found in the house of the lord as we are celebrating you we are celebrating the hannah in you in you we are celebrating the naomi in you we are celebrating the roof in you we are celebrating the Elizabeth in you. Let God raise women who will find more purpose in the house of the Lord. This is my prayer for you as, 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 as we are celebrating Women's Day is that you should find yourself. One of the reasons why we are having a generation that is so mixed up with emotions is because most of the people don't find themselves in the purpose of God. Find yourself in God. If you find yourself in God, you'll be prayerful. If you find yourself in God, you'll be prophetic and you can prophesy over your destiny. Let let God raise women who will pray for this nation. Let God raise women who will understand that regardless of the divorce, irregardless of my husband dying, I will continue with the journey. And the journey must be built on the strong foundation of God. I pray for you that you understand yourself. I pray for you that you find yourself in God. One of the most important things about Naomi is that irregardless of her losing everything, she kept on going. I prophesy that God will raise a woman in you, a peculiar woman in you that will find themselves, that irregardless of the situation, sometimes yes, we go through season, seasons where kids, you know, things are not going well, diseases, all these things, never curse God. Be a woman who is built on a foundation, a strong foundation of prayer. This is what will make this, uh, I mean, this country, this nation of South Africa to rise. Africa as a whole to rise. The whole of uh, the, the whole world to rise as a whole. And I prophesy that as you are watching me, you are 
that type of a woman that God will find in you. You will be, pro, I mean, prophetic. You will be strong. We will stand on your weights of prayer. And this is my prayer for you. As you are watching me, you're not watching me by mistake. This is a message for you. You will be prophetic with your prayers. And I say, let God rise more women who will be prophetic to pray for us, to pray for this nation. We need people who can pray. The Bible says in the book of Acts, it says, as the church was praying for Peter and all of a sudden there was a knock God answered you know one thing that I've realized about God is that God answers prayers of women I pray that God rises prophetic and prayerful and intercessors inside of you as we are celebrating this day may God uh, you know form and build a prayerful woman in you and this is my words from you uh, I mean from from, from, from me as a prophet of God and as a servant of God, may you be prayerful, regardless of what you're going through, regardless of what you're facing, be prayerful. The only solution that we should understand is that there is nothing that we can find, no help that we can find. Be, I mean, from any type of counseling, the best counseling comes from the secret place of the Lord. As we go through certain seasons, you know, this hymn, I love it so much. We must learn to trust in God. And I'm here, I'm going to pray for you for these few minutes, and I want you to believe with me that we will be prayerful people. Let God rise prayerful people inside of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I pray for every woman. I pray, Father, for everyone, Lord, Heavenly Father, who is watching this Heavenly Father broadcast. Let God, Heavenly Father, touch their hearts, touch their minds. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you. Shalom. God bless you. We love you.